This is our cat Flossie. She lives with us in London. She likes the house and garden, but doesn't get on very well with the neighbours. Her hobbies include bird watching and fishing. Flossie is a skillful climber and an extremely enthusiastic gardener. She always insists on helping with knitting and making the beds. She is very good at polishing shoes. She doesn't like the sound of fireworks or visits to the vets. Flossie loves collecting butterflies and she is rather fond of snails. She is unable to resist a box, no matter what the size. But like all cats, most of all, she loves to sleep and sleep and sleep. When you're having tea and tears, but it's all the food you hate. And Auntie stays more broccoli and piles it on your plate. Super Kid comes whizzing, and before Auntie sees, he eats all the dreaded broccoli and the horrid mushy peas. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up, and Pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and a very hungry caterpillar. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Hee-haw! He only had three legs, one eye. He liked to listen to country music. He was quite tall and slim. He smelt really, really, really bad. And that morning he got up early and hadn't had any coffee. He was a cranky, stinky, dinky, lanky, honky, tonky, winky, wonky, donkey! But the map was a trap and the whales went snap and both Danny and Dino were swallowed. Oh no! Both Danny and Dino were swallowed! There was treasure all right, jewels and diamonds galore. There was sparkling as bright as can be. But there's no use in gold if you're stuck growing old in a whale in the bed of the sea. Yo-ho, so Dino had treasure for tea. It was sticky and icky and smelled very fishy, and so Danny started to cry. Their only way out was through the whale's spout, and they couldn't reach it was too high. But with pirates and mermaids inside of its gut, the dinosaur knew what to do. After such a big feast to escape from the beast, the dinosaur needed to purr. Sophie opened the door, and there was a big Stripey Tiger. The Tiger said, Excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Gerald was a tall giraffe, whose neck was long and slim. His knees were awfully bandy, and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance, where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad. Because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthogs started waltzing, and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango, which was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha, with a very Latin feel. And the eight babins then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the flower. There's a rumble in the jungle, there's a whisper in the trees. The animals are waking up and rustling the leaves. The hippos at the water hole, the leopards in his lair, the chimpanzees are chattering and swinging everywhere. Some animals are frightening and some are sweet and kind. So let's go to the jungle now and see who we can find. The boa constrictor's a slippery snake that slithers and slides round his tree. And when tasty animals wander too close, he squashes them slowly for tea. I'm a wide-mouthed frog and I eat flies, said the wide-mouthed frog, shooting out her long, sticky tongue. Once upon a time, there were frogs and rabbits, and their names were Foxy, Moxy, Cottontail and Peter. They lived with their mother in a sandbank underneath the root of a very big fir tree. No, my dears, said these old Mrs. Rabbit one morning. Pineapple.
Pull is very cool. He wears his hair in spikes. He hangs out by the microwave, high-fiving fruit he likes. So shake it like a mango, party like a pear, wiggle like an apple, hey, and dance like you don't care. It's called the kitchen disco and everyone's invited. So move your hips, shake your pips, and let's get all excited. Surprise! Yelled Broccoli, popping out the treasure chest. I told you I was great at hide and seek. Sue Potato and the gang started a long walk home. I didn't have you down as one of the good guys, P, said Sue Potato, but maybe I was wrong. The wa ha 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 ha! Whatever you say, Sue Potato, sniggered the P. Aliens love underpants of every shape and size, but there are no underpants in space, so here's a big surprise. When aliens fly down to Earth, they don't come to meet you. They simply want your underpants. I'll bet you never knew. Their spaceship's radar bleeps and blinks the moment that it sees a washing line of underpants all flapping in the breeze. They land in your back garden, though they haven't been invited. Oh, underpants, they chant and dance around delighted. She used to be the poor little thing dangling in the air and then turned to bear. You can eat him, my one true love, she says. I might just stick to the prawn cocktail crisps if you don't mind. Keith the cat was merrily minding his own business when... Whee! Plop! Ha 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 Keith got an ice cream stuck on his head, chuckled the other cats. Suddenly, Keith felt a little bit shy and a little bit silly. It's not an ice cream, he squeaked. It's a... It's a... Um... A... A... Magic hat! Yes, that's it! A magic hat.